We're all aware that driving under the influence of alcohol is illegal and can put ourselves and others at risk. But a research study released earlier this year revealed that driving while dehydrated can have much the same effect on driving ability as a couple of glasses of wine. In response to this, a new consumer survey has been recently released and has revealed that only 20% of people have a non-alcoholic drink before setting off on a long road trip. The research study by scientists at Loughborough University put a number of drivers through a series of tests on a driving simulator to assess the effect of mild dehydration on reaction time and performance. There have been a few studies recently that showed if you simply restrict fluid intake for, for 12 hours or, or slightly longer, people's performance goes down. As the level of dehydration increases, we begin to notice some symptoms. We maybe have a dry mouth, we maybe feel a little bit thirsty, anxious, perhaps perhaps a little bit of a headache, uh, perhaps a little bit tired. Dehydration had a quite dramatic effect on their driving ability. They made twice as many minor errors when dehydrated than they did during the dehydrated trial. And we classed minor errors as drifting out of the lane, braking too early or too late, hitting the rumble strips that, that separate the, the lanes. What might be seen as very minor errors, but something that could quite feasibly lead to an accident on a, on a real road. Both concentration and alertness was significantly reduced when dehydrated compared to the hydrated trial. A recent survey amongst British consumers showed that only 6% placed proper hydration as the most important consideration when setting off on a long drive. Most felt that other factors such as having a comfortable driving position, adequate sleep the night before and wearing comfortable clothes were of more importance. Less than half of people think that mild dehydration can increase the chance of having a car accident, and only just over a third stop every two hours on a long journey. Now, the European Hydration Institute, who funded the study, are keen to offer their advice for drivers to ensure we all remain safe on the roads. I think there are a number of things you can do. I think if you're setting out on a long drive, you should set out well hydrated before you go. Don't avoid having that cup of tea or cup of coffee before you head out because you don't want to stop on the way to go to the bathroom. So that's point number one. I think the second thing is stop regularly and make sure that you top up your hydration levels. And particularly if you're feeling thirsty at any time, that's a sign that you're already becoming mildly dehydrated and you should definitely stop on those occasions and top up your hydration levels. If you are feeling at all tired, um, have a drink that contains some, some caffeine and perhaps some sugar. Um, or alternatively, if not, uh, any sort of soft drink or water would be fine. And I think the last point to make is that if you're driving, particularly in hot weather, and you might have your air conditioning on, that can actually have a drying effect on the atmosphere and, and may increase the risk of dehydration. And in those circumstances, just be a little bit more aware that you need to look out for signs and symptoms of dehydration.